Good evening and welcome. I'm Sheila Balgobin and I am the Dream Decipherer and I help you to crack the code of your sleep and dreams so you can sleep sound and dream deep. This evening I'll be taking a look at mandalas and how they can be helpful in getting you a good night's sleep. What I'll do is talk about what exactly mandalas are for some of you may or may not know what that is, how they can help you sleep, how to draw one of your own, and finally, how you can meditate with a mandala. So to define a mandala, simply put, it's a circle. And it, cultures around the world have used mandalas for, for meditation, healing, and other purposes because they the circle represents wholeness. They can appear in many forms. Um, it can be the yin-yang symbol, for example, the Mayan calendar, which is a circle, or even a pendant. All that's needed is a blank piece of paper or maybe sand for sand paintings and a pen or pencil in order to create one. Uh, in modern times, mandalas have been become popular because of, of Carl Jung. Um, he started working with his own mandala designs, and after working with his designs and his clients' designs, he realized that the mandalas corresponded to inner um, feelings, impressions, and thoughts. So... That's just a little bit to, to give you an idea of, of what a mandala is, but how and why would they make you sleep better? Well, think about it. Most, when you're up in the middle of the night, your head is just swirling with thoughts about what you need to do the next day, the argument you had with your, your spouse or your kids or your boss or whatever. And that all takes place in the left side of the brain, which processes and, and thinks and evaluates things. So to, drawing a mandala gets us into the right um, hemisphere of the brain, which is the more creative and image-rich side. Um, and there's it allows you or helps you to shut off the other side that's just chattering away and keeping you awake. It helps you to slow your thoughts down and to get them under control. Now, you can draw your own mandala or you can get coloring books of all kinds now uh, that you can just color in um, and relax your mind that way. So in order to draw your own mandala, you need to start with a, a pad, um, a drawing pad and, a, and paper. Um, and a pen or pencil. So you start in the middle with a small dot or circle in the center of the page. Um, this set, that dot or center represents yourself. Now you can start from that circle, start making shapes, whatever comes into your mind, um, whatever you're feeling, just let it flow and draw. Don't think about it. Don't start to use the left half of the brain and assess, and am I doing this perfectly? Just let it literally flow. You can put your joys, your fears, your anger, your gratitude, whatever it is you're feeling, put that into the drawing. Um, you know, press a little bit harder, not so hard that you put a hole in the paper, but just let your hand flow and see what happens. Now, what you, um, as I said, the, the whole purpose of drawing the mandala is to get you out of your thinking mind and into your more creative side, which will help you to relax. And so quiet that mental chatter so that you can get to sleep. As, as you gain your practice, I mean, keeping this, doing this bef just before you go to bed, um, will, as I said, deprogram the mind to start to unwind and relax so that you can get to sleep. 
And what you'll find is, is with practice, you'll find that you're, you're drawing your mandalas even faster, um, which means you can get that much more sleep. <laughs> now, how, once you've drawn your mandala, what's, how do you meditate with it? Well, you start at the center and start, let your gaze fix at the center of the mandala, which represents yourself. And then let your gaze soften almost as if you were going into a trance and you, you're, you know, your eyes may even cross a little bit, but just let your eyes relax and follow the pattern. Don't stare at it with attention. Just let, let it, let yourself a, become a part of the mandala. Let your mind wander, let it relax. And what you'll find is if you allow yourself to, to soften your focus and sink into your mind for about 10 to 20 minutes, you will find that you become more relaxed and you will get to sleep. Now, if you, you're stumped with ideas about what mandalas can look like, you can look, there's all kinds of mandalas that you can find online. Um, if you not, don't feel confident enough to draw one of your own, get a coloring book with mandalas. They're lovely. I've used them myself and they are just coloring is actually relaxing because it's, it puts us in child mind um, and distracts the thinking mind. But the um, mandalas, again, just the fact that you're tracing the, the lines and coloring them in can be very, very relaxing. So there you have it. Um, another suggestion for to get to sleep is to make or to color in a mandala. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Have a great evening and start to the week. And I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.